Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Mario and today we're going to be editing some seamless transitions. Let's go. So thank you if you already subscribed and you came back again. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing for more super awesome content similar to this one. If you've seen last week's video, I went over some advanced transitions that you can do with your gimbal. And I promised you in that video that I'll be creating this editing tutorial to show you how I edited those transitions to make them flow seamlessly. I hope this video can be great use to you if you're starting out in editing transitions and creating speed ramps, especially if you're editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. So for in order for these transitions to be seamless, more seamless than they already are, you need to add speed ramps at the tail end of the first clip and the beginning of the second clip. What a speed ramp really is, is speeding up and slowing down your individual video clip. And speeding up your transitions is going to be able to more easily hide away any cuts that you have and consequently give you a more seamless transition. So let's jump into the editing software and let's show you how it's done. We're here right now in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's right click over here and create a new sequence. I will just go ahead and create a 1080p sequence and 24 frames per second. So I already have these two clips selected. So I have this right here where I will transition from this shot to another shot as well where the camera tilts from the top of the frame. This shot ends on a tilt down. So in order to get a seamless transition, you're going to have to tilt down again on the second shot. We'll cut this clip at about here. This was shot at 60 frames per second with the intention to slowing it down in post-production. So I'm going to drag only the video and I can do that by clicking, by hovering over this video icon right here. Keep existing settings and can make this a little bigger so I can see it better. So this is what it looks like. And as you can see, it's a little stuttery because it's 60 frames footage, it placed in a 24 FPS timeline. So what I'm going to do is right click, click on speed and duration, set the speed to 40%. Okay. And now we get this slow motion of this clip. So let's bring in the second clip. This is going to be my second clip where I start tilting from the sky and the top of the building to my subject right here. So I'll set the out point over here and I'll drag this video clip to my timeline. Now, if you were to put these two clips together, this is what you would get. Even though you get the same motion for those two clips, it's not as seamless. You can still see that there is a hard cut in between those two clips. Before we continue, I forgot to, turn, to make this slow motion. So right click, speed duration, 40%. Press OK. In order to manipulate the speed on this clip, we're going to right click, go to show clip keyframes, time remapping, speed. And we see here that there is this line over here that has, that has been created, and this is the line for speed. So one thing that I like to do is start my speed ramps right after the movement of that transition starts to happen. So right about there, I think I want to create my first keyframe for the speed ramp. So all you need to do is either hold command or control on your keyboard and click here to add a keyframe. So what I'm going to do is just drag in this line to the top. And as I drag it, you can see that there is a percentage. That's the speed percentage that's going to be adjusted as soon as I drag this line up. I'm going to be dragging it all the way up to maybe about 900%. I usually like to for it to be really quick. And as soon as I do that, you can see that this shortens. It shortens because the faster your clip is, the less it's going to last. So, in, so this is what just happened right here. So I can zoom in a little bit closer to look at my clip. And what I'll do here is you can see these two little ears. I'm going to drag them out a little bit. What you want to do is also to smoothen out that speed ramp. So it's not like a sudden change in the speed of the clip, but there's a more gradual change. So in order to do that, you can grab one of these two little lines and just create like a little S curve. I think it's looking good so far. What I'm going to do is pause there. I can always come back and tweak it depending on how the second clip looks like. So let's go on to the second clip. And again, we'll do the same thing. Right click, show clip keyframes and speed. And I want my speed ramp to start about, maybe about right at this point, And it'll start slowing down around there. So again, command and control on your keyboard and click right here and it creates a keyframe. 
Let's drag this all the way up uh, to about 900 and see what that looks like. And then I'll drag these two little ears out again to smoothen out that speed ramp and create a little bit of an S curve over here. Let's take a look. That's what it looks like. And it's a little bit jerky because Premiere Pro likes to do that to you. So what I like to do sometimes to see what it's going to look like at the end result and not in the interim process because Premiere Pro tends to skip certain frames when you're doing in your playback. So I'll hit I on my keyboard and out to create in and out points, go to sequence and render into out. And it's just going to render that part so I can better see what it's going to look like in the final output without the drop frames that Premiere Pro gives you. And as soon as I rendered it out, you can see that this turns green. It just means that it's rendered and it's playing back in real time without any lags. Let me get rid of that. Let's put both of these clips together. So it's not bad. I, I find that this transition right here, it's really slow. Right here, you can still tell that there is a cut. So what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to start this clip at about here when it's a little bit faster. I'll cut that, get rid of that front piece and speed it up a little bit more, maybe to about a thousand something like that. And over here, I think I want this speed ramp to start a little earlier. So I'm going to click right here in between these two little ears and I'm going to drag this back to have that speed ramp start a little bit earlier. Let's see, actually even further back right there. Let's do a pre-render. Okay, that looks a lot better. And as I was saying earlier, one purpose of speed ramps is to hide the cuts in between clips. So by speeding up the end of this first clip and the beginning of the second clip, I'm able to create a blur in between those two clips. And because you're able to see the way the camera is moving, it creates this seamless transition sort of visual. You know there's a transition in between and that there are two clips, but the movement between the first clip and the second clip is a lot more seamless. All you need to do after is just add a little bit of sound effects and you're good to go. And by the way, if you're looking for sound effects, I get a lot of sound effects these days from Upbeat. I'll leave a link in the description below if you wanna check them out. So if you're new to speed ramping, I hope this tutorial was very useful to you. And if you're not new to speed ramping, I hope you're able to pick up a trick or two on the way that I do my own speed ramps. So if you enjoyed this video, you learned something new, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell for future videos similar to this one. And if you're already subscribed, thank you again so much for being here, and I'll see you in the next video.